Hi guys and welcome back. Today we've got a foundation battle on our hands and things might get quite interesting. I've got two different foundations that I'm going to be directly comparing and contrasting today but there is a little bit of a difference. Our first contender comes from Switzerland and it is the La Prairie Skin Caviar Foundation and Concealer. It is quite possibly one of the most expensive foundations in the world if not the most expensive. We have a concealer in the lid. We also have the foundation with a little spatula. This foundation does also come with a little stand and a brush but of course I've lost that. Let's not talk about that. The La Prairie Skin Caviar Foundation I purchased in the UK for around £150. I have seen it online today at a whopping $215 US dollars. That is so much money that is just mind-blowing. Here's where it gets interesting. Today's contender is from the Czech Republic and it is a very similar product. I have the Dermacol Caviar Long Stay Foundation, a foundation and concealer in one. I haven't taken it out of the packaging yet, so I have no idea what it looks like inside. I purchased the Dermacol Caviar Long Stay Foundation for just under 10 British pounds, the grand price of 13 US dollars. There is a $200 difference between these foundations, and I think that is ridiculous. That is insane, and I'm so freaking excited excited to see how different they actually are. To keep this test as fair as possible, I'm going to be applying the La Prairie foundation onto this side of my skin and the Dermacol foundation onto this side of my skin. Both foundations will be applied using the exact same foundation brush. Is there going to be a clear difference? Are they going to be incredibly similar? Who knows? Let's put them both to the test. First up, we have the La Prairie foundation and concealer. I'm just going to pop a small amount of that onto the back of my hand to keep it fair. I'm gonna dot one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna start buffing and stippling that foundation into my skin. It's blending out incredibly smoothly. I'm just gonna keep blending. I am gonna have to go back for a couple more dots, see how much difference that makes. I'm gonna take a clean brush, place that onto the back of my hand. I'm gonna start blending the concealer out to cover up any redness and pigmentation and also in the under eye area. This foundation is slightly a little bit light, do look a little bit like a ghost. Next up, the Dermacol Long Stay Caviar Foundation, shade number one, pale. Both have mirrors in the lid, a little concealer. When you open the foundation, they both have the spatula too. I'm going to take that spatula and just apply all of that onto the back of my hand. Using my Clean It's Cosmetics Luxe Face Brush, I'm going to go ahead and apply on this side of my skin. Ooh, this one is definitely a lot harder to blend. Out. I feel like this one kind of just glided over. It's looking pretty similar. Oh my god, this is so close. We definitely have a massive shade difference. Oh my god, I have to leave the house in 10 minutes. What am I doing? This one is definitely a lot lighter. This one hasn't given as much coverage just yet. I'm gonna go in with another five dots because that's what we did on this side. And once again, I'm just gonna buff and blend that out. Foundation just kind of disappears into nothing in comparison. Look how flawless that is on the cheeks there. Definitely a much nicer shade for my skin and that has blended out beautifully. I'm gonna go in now with the concealer from the Dermacol and just using a clean brush I'm gonna scrape a small amount of that pop it on the back of my hand now let's go in again with that concealer and see how much coverage we can get doesn't quite have that same level of glow but so far I think it looks great I'm quite impressed so far. I just feel a little bit weird knowing that I have to go out with two very different shades of foundation on my face. I'm gonna pop on a small amount of the RCMA translucent powder. Okay guys, now that my base is set, I'm just gonna pop on some light makeup.
So this is now how the makeup looks. I'm gonna leave this on my skin for as long as possible and I'm gonna check back in with you all in a couple of hours and we'll see which one is winning, which one is losing. Is there really enough difference to constitute a $200 price difference between them? Let's find out. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so it's been around six hours now since I first applied my makeup onto my skin and let's take a look and see where we are at. We applied the La Prairie foundation on this side and the Dermacol 10 pounds foundation on this side. There's not that much in it in terms of shade. I really can't see that much difference between those two shades. On the side of my face where we applied the La Prairie foundation, we definitely do have some patches around the side of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and also around my breakouts. A little bit of cakiness happening in the under eye area here where I applied that powder. And we definitely have some cracking in my smile lines here otherwise I mean like I think it's fine it's just my breakouts are showing through a lot more on the dermacol side of my foundation we do have quite a lot of creasing in that area we have cracks in our smile lines a little bit of cakiness above the lid a little bit of wear over these breakouts here also I have a touch of patchiness around the side of my nose probably slightly more on the dermacol side than there is on the la prairie side the concealer seems to have held up a lot stronger than the concealer on the expensive side of my face which I was not expecting to see. I do feel like they're pretty even right now. I'm gonna leave this on my skin for a little bit longer and hopefully I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Hey guys so it's around nine and a half hours now since I first applied my foundation onto my skin. In my previous update I said that I couldn't really see the difference between the two different shades of foundation on my skin. Basically that was wrong. Started editing my previous update and I was like no 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 you can blatantly blatantly see the difference between the two sides in this room it looks really similar but as soon as I saw it on camera I was like no love on the La Prairie foundation side let's take a look I can definitely see some big patches of wear here there is barely anything left on my skin we've got a bit of cakiness happening here some more patches of foundation that's worn away Way. more breakouts that are showing through cakiness on my chin showing through big patches here with breakouts that are showing through a um, little bit of cakiness here and we have got some creasing happening in the under eye area oh that's not looking too pretty right now <laughs> in the grand scheme of things I have definitely seen worse and I've definitely seen better I don't necessarily hate it but I'm not in love with it I would definitely 100% expect more than this for the price that I paid for that product. Let's look how the £10 version from Dermacol compared. From a distance, it really doesn't look that bad. I'm actually quite surprised at myself for saying that. I really didn't like the Dermacol foundation that I tried before. This is not perfect in any way, shape or form. There are still issues with it. We have pigmentation coming through here. We've got a little bit of cakiness creasing happening in that under eye area as well. For some reason, Dermacol gives me the crazy craziest creases and makes me look really old. Kind of not feeling that vibe. A little bit of cakiness happening here. My chin is actually less cakey on the Dermacol side to the La Prairie side and I'm actually really shocked about that. These are two very different products with very different formulas and very different priced ingredients in them too. The La Prairie foundation hands down had the best radiant dewy luminous finish and I just think that the Dermacol foundation really struggles to get that kind of vibe with it. In terms of how my skin has looked after nearly 10 hours, I literally just have to say that the Dermacol foundation did a better job than the La Prairie. Yes, it has its faults, it's not perfect, it hasn't given an ultimate flawless long lasting finish, but out of the two, it's the sure winner for me. That's my opinion and I would love to hear yours, so please do let me know in the comment section down below which foundation you preferred. I would love to hear your thoughts on this and see if you agree or disagree. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to check out my full foundation review playlist, you can click here. And for weird and wonderful product reviews, click here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!